Okay, hello everyone. In a new video, in this one, we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapter of AC voltage. This exercise was a previous one in the breve exams in 2019 first session, exercise number one. The title of this exercise is study of a voltage. The document one, ah, uh, they mentioned document one. Then now we can use it. Represents the waveform of a voltage U delivered by a generator. In the absence of any voltage, the horizontal luminous line passes through the center of the screen of the oscilloscope. Given that the vertical sensitivity is given by 5 volts per division and the horizontal sensitivity is 2 milliseconds per division. Then the trick in solving such type of exercises is to determine the values of x and y. So before we solve, okay, then the value of x here, what does x represent? The number of divisions along the x-axis or in particular the number of divisions between two consecutive peaks. Here it's difficult to count the number of divisions between two consecutive peaks. Then let's count them from the center. So we choose a point and we skip a point, then we choose another point. Then the number of divisions of x is given by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So x is equal to 5 divisions. And now the value of y, y corresponds to the number of divisions reached by the, the maximum number of divisions reached by the waveform, which is the peak. So 1, 2, 3 then y is equal to 3 divisions. Now they are telling me choose with the justification the best, uh, the best answer. So number 1. The voltage u, u is uh, A variable and positive, B constant, C alternating. Now in order to choose the best answer, so here they are asking me about the type of the voltage. Then first let's justify the type of this voltage which is given by since it varies with time. And alternately, positive and negative. And the shape is given by sinusoidal. Then it is an AC sinusoidal voltage source. So for sure, part, uh, answer B is wrong. So let's eliminate B. Now as for A, it's correct that it is variable, but it's not only positive, it's positive and negative. So also, uh, answer A is wrong, then we are left with C, so it is indeed alternating, then the correct answer is C. Now, in number 2, the maximum voltage UM of U is given by either 15 volt, 6 volt, or 6 millivolt. In order to choose the correct or the best answer, let's calculate the maximum voltage uh, of this source, or of this voltage. The maximum voltage is given by SV multiplied by Y. The value of SV is given by 5 and the value of Y is given by 3. This will give us 15. Since both SV and Y are in the SI, so the value of UM will be in the SI. Then the maximum voltage of this voltage source is given by 15 volts. So this is the justification of number 2 and the best answer or the correct answer is A. Now in number 3, they are telling me the effective voltage U effective of U is approximately 10.6 volts, 4.2 volts, and 4.2 millivolts. Approximately, approximately means almost close to. Then in order to choose the correct answer, let's calculate the effective voltage, which is given by the maximum voltage divided by square root of 2. Now the maximum voltage is given by 15. Here they didn't give me the value of radical 2. Plugging this on the calculator, then the effective voltage is given by 10.61 volts. So the effective voltage is equal to 10.61 volts. And in this case, the correct answer is given by A.
Now, as for part B, they are telling me the period T of U is. Now, let's calculate the period, which is given by SH multiplied by X. Now, the value of SH, so here they gave me the value of SH in the uh, in millisecond, but knowing that millisecond is not as a unit of time, in order to convert from millisecond to second, we simply divide by 1000. Now, dividing SH by 1000, then SH is given by 0 0.002 seconds per division. Then 0 0.002 multiplied by the value of X, which is 5. Plugging this on the calculator, it will give us 0 0.01 seconds. Then the period is given by 0 0.01 seconds. Now, referring to these answers, A is given by 5 milliseconds, B is given by 10 milliseconds, and C is given by 10 seconds. So, the period is not equal to any of these, but notice that here A and B are given by milliseconds, so let's try converting the period to milliseconds. Then the period which is given by 0 0.01 seconds, in order to convert from seconds to milliseconds, here we multiply by 1000. Then 0 0.01 multiplying it by 1000, and the period is given by 10 milliseconds. Now, we can see that the correct answer is B. And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it, and see you soon in another one.